And the Paul Pearson, what he said about Damian Lillard, Damian Lillard goes to Miami. It's not a good team. Like, he said he, that? Did you not see that? Oh, I didn't my see that. Gosh. Let me pull up the full quote. He, no was, he was he up there. That. He was up there with um with Rachel Nichols and um Tracy McGrady. And he basically was like, if bro, right now, last season, we will, this is the second time we've seen a Jimmy and Bam led Heat team make the NBA finals. Obviously, they did it in the bubble. They did it last year. He said if Damian Lillard joined this Heat team, they wouldn't make it out of the first round in the East. That Bro, can't be the, that Tracy can't McGrady. Be Tracy McGrady was sitting next to him. He was like, I literally losing his mind. He's like, Rachel, please talk to this man because like, I can't. I can't right now. Who, who, wait, who said this? Paul Pierce? All Pierce. But we like this, 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 all his takes be like this, bro. Like, a, bro, I do not care if you are a Hall of Fame basketball player. That does not mean you instantly know ball. Like you know how to play it. Yeah, for sure you know how to play it. That does not mean that you're just your 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 process and your takes are just instantly above any of ours who've never played at the highest level. I do not care because that is that that genuinely like the re. What is even the the reasoning for that? He said it's because the reason that they made it to the finals last year was because they had the. You know, Caleb Martin was hooping for them. He was giving, you know, he was giving the Celtics work. Max Struess was hooping. You know, Gabe Vincent, he's not there anymore. So it's like, you're going to get, damn, you got to give up these pieces. And it's like, that's the only reason that they made it that far is because their bench people, you know, their role players was really stepping it up big, which is like true. But it's like, if we got to lose, you know, you lost Struess and Vincent already. If we got to lose Hero, who didn't play for us to make the finals, right? One. And two, give up. Gabe Vincent got to go, too. And we're getting back Damian Lillard. <laughs> bro, come like, on, bro. Come about? on, bro. What are, won't make it out of the first round? Like, come on, bro. It could be, they could have gave up Bam and still made it out of the first round. Like, that's not even like a... What are we... What? What are you talking about? I really about? think... I really think some of it is... Bro, it still got hatred in his heart for the Miami Heat. That is true. That is because a lot of people, bro, and I've noticed this being on Twitter, but a lot of people really just like they, the they cannot separate like the fandom and the like the the the, the fairness and the accuracy. Like they can't, for the life of them, separate that like at all. And it's it, it's tough. It's sad to see. It really is. Yeah, that was NBA crazy. media is NBA like fandom is like. Bro, a lot of NBA fans are so stupid. I'm gonna be honest. A lot of NBA fans are so dumb, bro. It's a, like one of the dumbest fan bases like out there. It has to be delusion. Um, but yeah, T Mac was literally sitting there like, bro, what are you talking about right now? Like you're literally just like, you're just capping. There's no way you really believe this. Doesn't like, even make sense. It's not they even- they add one of the 75 greatest players to ever play the sport of basketball. In Playing his best history. basketball right now. Right, and they 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 can't even get out of the first round. A team that just made the finals can't get out of the first round. <sighs> bro, this dude riding so hard for the Celtics. You're not even the best Celtic ever, bro. You're not even the second best Celtic ever, bro. I'm not hearing, you, bro. I, I never liked Paul Pierce. I'm be honest with you. I just never did. Was he and, the uh, best Celtic on that uh that no. team? No, it was KG. He won in Finals MVP, but he was not the best Celtic. No, he was not. Hey, I'm not, even, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about like the, the season as a whole, and even that that whole little era, the victory that they had in Boston. KG is better than him, bro. Yeah, it's all time easily. KG, KG is, better, is than better than him, but bro. I think even at that time, KG still giving you 20 a night, face up, post up, had the mid range going, and being the elite defender that he was. KG, it's not even like revisionist history. At the time, I'm feeling the same way as a kid. Like mm-hmm. KG was, Paul Pierce was the the closer, like right. the primary offensive option, but KG was right there in terms of like offensive production when needed. Um, obviously, not to the same level, but coupling his ability on offense with being the defensive anchor, one of the defensive best defensive players ever. Like. He was he was the guy. 
He was the guy. Thanks. Uh, and shout out KG because he's one of the the older, you know, retired players who kind of like is AI in the sense that he really just we don't come out and really hate on nobody. He just show, show love. love to the next generation. It, like he did that interview with Chet. He really was just like, bro, you are. I see it. I see you taking the leaps on the defensive side of the ball. You out here. You got the instincts. You block it, everything. Mm-hmm. It's a cool moment for him too. It's like Chet's like, bro, where you think I learned it from? I'm watching your highlights. Mm-hmm. It's like, bro, when you're just good and like, you know, you just enjoy the game. You giving it up, like giving praises to the next generation. Like, is it gonna come back in return? You're gonna get your flowers. So you see it with AI because AI is one of the the biggest proponents of just being like. I had my time. I did what I did. Like, yes, I had influence on the game, but like, it's the young guy's time. Like, he always is showing love to the next generation, which is how it should be. Like, I think mm-hmm. Larry Bird gave a speech recently. He got, like, I think a Lifetime Achievement Award or something. He was, like, talking about how it's a lot of older guys who are stingy about the, you know, younger generation of the NBA and you know, may not like the way that it's going. But um, he was like, bro, when you think about – some of the young superstars in the league, and he listed out a lot of them. He was like, bro, the game is in great hands. And, like, if we give our time back to mentor, to help, to just even be involved in it, like, the game is going to continue to grow to heights bigger than it was than we were playing it. And that's what we should want. Like, as retired players, you should want the game to continue to elevate and take itself to new levels. So, bro, do not be no hater like Paul Pierce, bro. <laughs> be a KG. Be a AI. Facts. <laughs>